Okay, so here we have the next question on the menu today. It is asking us, or is presenting the situation, Richard is driving home to visit his parents. 140 miles of the trip is on the interstate where the speed limit is 65 miles per hour. Normally, Richard drives at the speed limit, that's good, but today he's running late and decides to take his chances by driving a little bit faster at 73 uh, miles per hour. How many minutes does he save? And is the savings in minute worth, worth the risk of, you know, being caught for speeding? Because, you know, speeding is serious business. So the first thing that we need to do is identify our information of interest. Okay, so our distance is 140 miles. And our our um, speed limit, so let's call that V for um, VL for limit is going to be 65 miles per hour. Um, it just to me it makes more sense to write it as a fraction I know that that's not always common but um, it, it makes it'll make more sense I'll you'll see you'll see why and then um, the VF for V fast this is going to be uh, 73 miles per hour okay so what we know here is that time uh, distance over time is equal to velocity, right? And we're trying to find for time, so it's just going to be distance over velocity is equal to time. We're looking for the time difference between our fast and our slow, right? But they're going to have the same uh, distance overall. So to set up that difference in time, what we can do here is our time of our slow, or our time of our limit, minus the time of our us going fast is going to be um you know the time saved time saved and summing this relationship into here we know that d over um, the velocity of the limit is minus d over the velocity of the um of going fast that is going to give us a t saved and um, the unit cancellation will work out that, that's why uh, you know I mentioned the divided by H now we just got to sub in these numbers and we will get our hours that are saved and then we'll just convert our hours into minutes okay so in both of these cases we have D so we can actually factor that out 1 over VL minus 1 over VF equals time saved Okay, and let's calculate this. So our distance is 140 miles. And here we're going to have um, hours per mile. Our, our slow is going to be 65. And our fast is going to be hours per 73 miles. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, send this to the calculator and figure out what that is going to be. And our results will be in hours because, as you can see, our miles out here, they're going to cancel each other out. So 140 multiplied by, in brackets, 65 reciprocal minus 73 reciprocal. And my results for here, for... Oops, you can't see that. Time saved. Is equal to 0 0.236 hours. And multiply by 60 to get minutes. 60 min per hour. And then the hours will cancel out. Multiply that by 60 and you will save 14 minutes. 14.16 minutes saved okay so um, yeah that will be how many minutes you saved um, my calculation was a little bit different but that's likely because I did not like actually like round it here and then keep doing the math with the rounding um, but you know the, the process is right it's just sometimes it's better to do like the actual algebra all in your calculator instead of like having these intermediate rounding that are going to slowly introduce errors that are going to cause these um you know these small differences to happen but otherwise it's something interesting to think about like you increase your speed for 
um, like 10 miles per hour, but you only end up saving like 14 minutes. So, you know, you're risking speeding tickets and all that just to save 14 minutes. Is it worth it? It's up to you. Uh, don't be speeding. I don't recommend it, but, you know, that was what Richard did, and it is what it is. Okay, so the above solution is good. Very good. 